Hey guys, so we are recording in 4K. Uh, 4K because I think everyone's eventually going to go to 4K. So I'm going to talk about my favorite speculation, Drena. So Drena went from $5 from the first time I told you to buy her. And there's a previous video saying how much she was the crown princess to be. And now she has become what I expected her to become. I uh, see it's gone from $5 all the way up to $15, $16, a 300% increase. You just don't see that very often. That's kind of lightning in a bottle. Drena, it's a little too late to buy her now. Obviously, you know, it's, I'm going to pick out new speculations so be on the lookout for that coming for the Shadows of Innistrad. There's some stuff I like, but it's a little overpriced right now. I probably will pick it after prices plummet. That being said, Shadows over Innistrad is a very interesting speculation model, mainly because if you consider four Planeswalkers, and everything looks pretty good with casual players picking up zombies, vampires, werewolves, all of these types of things that casual players like to pick up, they are in this set. Now, everything stated, I worry about, you know, the collapse of the set, the value of the set. Meaning, initially when it comes out, you have four Planeswalkers, you have just so many cards over $10, it cannot hold. It definitely cannot hold. But unlike, you know, a Battle for Zendikar or a Over the Gatewatch with the Expeditions, the value is in the Mythics. Not the foil Mythics, but in the Mythics. That means it's going to be spread more evenly than either Oath or battle. Therefore, the speculations will be harder to hit on because there's so much value in the set. That being said, probably two weeks into it, I'm going to pick a speculation and then we're going to run with it. I'm expecting Black Red Vampires to be the deck to beat, especially when we get into the first week. Uh, the first week being mostly aggro. Aggro has typically always done extremely well the first week. So anyway, that is my short 4K. We're going to be making more 4K videos soon. Bye, guys.